G'day Jackton Nerdy fans, Jeremy here with a review video for the latest Hulu interpretation of Hellraiser. Now I do know that this movie came out about two weeks ago, uh, but I've only just had a chance to watch it last night uh, with Mrs. Jackton Nerdy, and I thought I would post up this video uh, today just giving my thoughts on the overall movie. Uh, now, this will be non-spoiler, uh, so we won't go into any specific plot details, um, but uh, yeah, but it's just a, a, my thoughts on the film video. Now, before I jump into that, though, uh, as always, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you guys never miss out on a video. And if you do enjoy this content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That lets us know to keep going and keep creating this type of content for all of you out there. So with that out of the way, uh, the 2022 Hulu interpretation of Hellraiser. So this film was directed by David Bruckner and obviously the story was written by Clive Barker and David S. Goyer, uh, obviously two uh, horror icons in the industry. Uh, now, uh, obviously, as everyone is aware, this one does not have the typical pinhead. This one has the female pinhead, played by Jamie Clayton, who uh, did had a fantastic transformation, I would say, and did do a very good job in the role. I will admit, I had a little bit of trouble understanding her right at the beginning. I think there was some issues with the audio tuning and how they manipulated her voice uh, so I did find her a bit hard to understand right at the beginning but then as the movie progressed I found it easier and easier to understand her when she spoke um, the film also stars uh, Odessa Azion uh, I hope I'm saying her name right uh, Drew Starkey uh, Brendan Flynn and a icon in the uh, movie industry, in my opinion, and a very underrated actor in the form of Garon Viznik, um, who you would recognize from hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of films, uh, but he also did a fantastic job. So that's just a few of the people that star in this movie. So the um, my interpretation of the movie. So leading up to watching this movie, I'd been hearing all of the reports coming out of Hollywood that saying that this was a fantastic film. It's just as good, if not better than the original. Uh, I think right now on Rotten Tomatoes, it's got like a 71%. Um, so I'd been hearing a lot of good things coming out uh, you know, about this movie. So going into it, I think I had... Um, higher expectations than what I should have. Um, I think I was expecting a lot out of this film, which, you know, probably wasn't the best thing because, you know, with uh, horror, the horror genre, um, you know, it's never, you know, it's never Shakespeare or anything like that. Um, so going into this movie, I think I had higher expectations than I should have. So I, I'm... Whilst I'm not saying it's a horrible film, I did feel a little bit let down by it. But or with that in mind also, I think this movie is very, very different to the all of the other Hellraiser films that came before it, in my opinion. Uh, that being said, I haven't watched all 30, 40, 50 Hellraiser films that they've ever made. Uh, I've st only stuck to the original three and haven't progressed beyond the original three. Um, so when I think of Hellraiser and the original three, this film is very much a diversion from that. Um, it's very much its own film. They, in my opinion, they've taken a lot of liberties and, uh, you know, kind of with the with the source material and changed things up a little bit, which again, I'm not saying is a negative thing. Um, so, but like I said, when I think of the original three, you know, I have a particular thing in mind and this is very, much, very much different to that. So... Uh, and as I said to Mrs. Jack DeNerdy last night after the film, I said, if you take this film and just treat it as a standalone horror film called Hellraiser, 
with all of with everything and do not connect it or associate it to any of the previous material and just treat it as a standalone a standalone movie it's a very good movie it's a very good horror movie um and what have you uh as i said like the the visuals i think the benefit that this film has as opposed to the the original hellraiser movies is obviously visual effects have progressed dramatically the visuals on this film are really really good um however uh, uh, however again another however um when you watch this type of movie you want to see that you're, you're you're watching it to see the cenobites um you know you want to see these d- distorted um kind of characters and figures of, of you know, and what have you and i and i felt that there wasn't enough of them in this film um you know, you like you know there, there's supposed to be like I, I think about seven of them they talk about in the movie um and you just see the same three maybe four over and over and over again you know that you you very rarely see the others and if you do it's only for split seconds very very short um you know so i would have liked to have seen more of the cenobites um the other thing is so when the cenobites arrive and the individual is tortured by chains and whatever um you know that's the other reason why you watch horror movies is because you want to see the gory nature and the ki- the kills or what have you um and in this movie you it's very much they keep that hidden you know someone is being tortured or someone is being killed but it's all done off screen you don't see any of it um which i found to also to be quite off putting you know um because that's why you watch these sort of things you watch these sort of things because you want to see the the cenobites you want to see the 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 horror the grotesque nature you want to see the gruesome things that's why it's called horror you don't want you know you you don't want these things to be all off screen and just left to your imagination in my opinion i mean sometimes it's good you know to set a mood or to to create suspense but when you're in the thick of it you want to see it what's going on um again my opinion my thoughts um so um so like i said so there are there are creative decisions and things with this movie that i agree with there are also creative decisions that i don't agree with like having a lot of it off screen and what have you um but as i said overall though the visuals were really really good i just wish they did more with it and more with you know showed more um i think like all kind of uh reboots and and things moving forward they're always leaving things open to make sequels especially if they're successful um so i do think we will be seeing another one of these hellraiser movies coming up in the next 12 18 months um and continuing the story on um i kind of hope they do i mean whilst this movie you know what like whilst i had some issues with this movie i did overall enjoy it and as i said as a standalone hellraiser film you know treating it on its own and not not connecting it or associating it with any of the previous material it is a very good film and i I would hope that if they do do a sequel um they go in more in depth into the lore and the, the the source material i hope they show more um again of the cenobites and the gruesome nature of what they do um and and as i said not keep all that stuff off screen so it would be interesting to see what they do moving forward um but as i said look comparing it to the original three i do prefer the original three um because i'm a bit of a uh, you know i prefer the i like the classic nature of the original hellraiser movies however someone who's younger um and this is their first introduction to this horror genre and this world of hellraiser this movie is very very good um you know and uh is a great first introduction so there it is so those are my thoughts uh like i said i i did enjoy it but it was definitely not my favorite there were 
creative decisions that they did with you know focusing a lot of stuff off screen that I did not agree with and not showing enough of the Cenobites so I would like to know what you guys think did you enjoy this movie what were your thoughts on it um did you do you agree with me that the you know, having hiding a lot of the things and keeping a lot of the stuff off screen was a bit of a, a downer or did you like what they did and keep a lot of it off screen hit me up in the comment section below let me know your thoughts um and i'll be interested to see what everyone else thinks uh make sure you keep an eye out on the channel we've got heaps more uh content coming out we've got heaps of unboxing videos uh we've got some sh new shipments from hot toys come in uh over the last couple of weeks so we've got uh some awesome unboxing videos from hot toys coming up we've also got lots of movies coming out we've got uh black adam we're coming out this week we've also got uh the woman king has is just being released here in australia in the coming weeks um barbarian um lots of awesome stuff and then obviously coming up in uh, early november we've also got um black panther so make sure you keep an eye out on the channel we've got heaps of content coming up over the coming weeks um and hey why not to make things easier make sure you hit that subscribe button that way you will get alerted each time we post up a new video that way you never have to worry about missing out or going searching for our latest content Okay, guys, so until next time, stay jacked and stay nerdy.